throw it through the midfield for West Brom. They're threading it up towards Rich, not far away from the edge of the Norwich box. Rash challenge from Duffy, free kick West Brom. Shot uh, trying to beat Gunn at the near post, but he watches it bounce harmlessly wide. No problem there for Gunn, bit of a waste for West Brom. Reach clips it towards the penalty area. Thomas Asante controls, gets challenged just about by Ben Gibson, and it's smuggled away. Furlong picks it up on the edge of the penalty area. West Brom trying to go through the gears, poor layoff, intercepted by Yanoulis, and uh, Norwich have got it back. West Brom now with Jocker Sloot, excellent interception from McLean, who immediately sees a chance to try and break forward here for Norwich City, and he's released Sargent, who's onside, Sargent bearing down on the penalty, it's Josh Sargent for Norwich City, yeah. and it's 1-0! Great play from Kenny McLean, broke up the West Brom attack, there was only one thing on his mind, how could he turn defence into attack? Lovely ball for Josh Sargent to run onto, Sargent beating the offside trap, keeper seemed to get a hand to his shot, but he couldn't keep it out, and it's Norwich 1, West Brom 0. Yeah. Great ball, as you say, by Kenny McLean. Just have a look at the replay. Uh, I think he's beat the offside trap. Uh, West Brom players are not happy. They think he was offside. Um, not got the right angle to see. But, yeah, really, really good ball. And good movement by Ashley Barnes. He sort of pulled the defender away. I initially thought Kenny McLean was going to feed it through to Ashley Barnes. But he sort of done the defender with the eyes. Uh, fed in Josh Sargent. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Made no mistake. 1-0. from Norwich breaks down but it's probably giving it back to Rowe who gives it to Stacey on the right hand side whipped cross from him half led by Kipri falls for Sargent who gets the shot and it's blocked Sargent gets to it a second time poked goal was by Sykes no more than that and it drops wide uh, one of those strange attacks really where Norwich were around the edge of the West Brom penalty area but they never really looked fully in control of no and that was it wasn't it like it, it broke kindly for him and they won the ball back high up uh, Johnny Rowe with the ball and it just wouldn't seem to sort of fall for anybody uh, Josh Arden gets his initial shot away but it was blocked and then it just wouldn't come down and everybody had a little poke and a prod and in the end it went sort of harmlessly wide Stacey right hand side tries to cross and it's charged down but it's going to fall for Gabriel Sarra 25 yards from goal Stacey available on the right hand side to Sarra once more the Brazilian here Able to get on the ball much further up the field now. On to Rowe. Rowe skips into the penalty area, unleashes a shot, the goalkeeper pushes it out. And uh, West Brom gets the rebound first and they clear. Yanoulis to Sarah. Sarah to Yanoulis, who's on the attack. 25 yards from goal, central position. Gives it to Rowe, edge of the penalty. Rowe onto his left foot, hits the shot. And goalkeeper turns it aside for the first corner of the game. on the right knowing that McLean would dash onto it and he's got the freedom of the park on the right hand side he's up towards the edge of the penalty area here McLean he's got a long way he crosses Rowe can't quite get there in the six yard box it's fallen for Yanoulis who's never scored for Norwich and he still hasn't plays it over the top but um, let's not get carried away it's just a, a, a short spell of play but this is as impressive as Norwich have been just this spell of play is really really impressive Now plays the ball in from the left-hand side. Gun comes, and as he got to the ball, they're ahead of Furlong. I think he did. Furlong has gone down. West Brom fans want a penalty. Ball's come back in from the left-hand side, and Gibson clears. Wow! Suddenly, West Brom burst into life. The right-back Furlong was up in the penalty area, and Gun dived in, lunged in with the challenge, and he had to get the ball. I, I and the referee he says he did.
Oh, now, down goes Barnes, caught from behind there by Cyprick. And it's a free kick for Norwich City. He does go for goal, and it, oh, it flicks the... But it's landed on the roof of the goal. That's how close it was from South. Here's Townsend for West Brom, crossing from the left, it's gone a long way, Thomas Asante with a chance and he's found an equaliser, but he used his hand to control the ball. And there's a sigh of relief around Carroll Road, the referee's whistle went straight away, uh, Thomas Asante was off, he was celebrating, he was heading over towards the supporters, the West Brom fans on this near side. But there's the danger for Norwich, they've played well, but when you're only 1-0 up, one ball into the box, let's have a look at the replay, in it comes, yeah he does. Uh, McLean goes in with a challenge, catches the West Brom player, but there's no free kick given because West Brom have the advantage. And here's Weiman on his West Brom debut, crossing from the right, from the left-hand side, shot comes in from Swift, it's deflected, and it goes wide, and it's a corner. Sarah's given it to Yanoulis from the left-hand side, he plays it forward, but... Gives it straight back to West Brom. They've got a chance to break now with Chalabar. Wallace in a crossing position, right-hand side, cuts it back to Swift. His shot, just wide. Well, those are the two players who caused Norwich all sorts of problems at the Hawthorns on Boxing Day. Cross from deep from the left, Rowe gets his head to it and puts it over the top. That's better from Norwich, though. They kept the West Brom defence occupied. It was a really difficult header for Jonathan Rowe. Here's no. Townsend on the left hand side for West Brom in pursuit of an equaliser. Cross deflected by Fasnack. Thomas Asante in there, blocked by uh, Gibson, and behind for a West Brom corner. Here's Swift, he delivers into the penalty area. Thomas Asante's header, he's unmarked, he's put it straight at the goalkeeper. Yeah, he, he was unmarked, and unmarked by about three or four yards around him. Back to Nunez in the midfield, better from Norwich. You see, when they do move the ball well, they create chances, and here comes Sarah, 25 yards out, into the penalty area for Yanoulis, across goal, row, 2-0! Yeah. That's what Norwich City can do when they move the ball quickly, when they use the ball well. They turn the fence into attack. That all started with Jack Stacey bringing the ball out of the fence. And it finished with the other fullback, Yanoulis, playing it in. And Rowe sweeping it into the net at the Barkley end. 2 0 with 20 minutes to go. It's a lovely sweeping move. And Norwich City are two up. Yeah, and, and not forgetting Sarah picking the ball up in that sort of number 10 slot and driving forward. Um, Double overlap, if you like. He had uh, Rowe just outside him, and then Jim I think it was uh, sort of wider out. He fed him in. Uh, just a simple side foot cross, uh, and Jonathan Farrow taps it in. But yeah, just really, really good positive football, and um, st still work to do. Norwich don't make things easy, so I'm not going to say this last 20 minutes is an absolute certainty. Um, but yeah, what a great position to be in. 2 0 up with uh, a little over 20 minutes to go. Townsend on the left-hand side for West Brom. His cross is going to be headed down by Vyman, and then DK sliding into the six-yard box, gets underneath it and puts it over the top. I think he was a little surprised there, DK, that Vyman won the header. It's with Rowe, left corner of the penalty area, Jonathan Rowe, trying to get it into a shooting position, perhaps. He's in the box, a step over, flashes Ooh. the shot goalwards, and the goalkeeper, Palmer, lives up to his name there, palming it behind for a corner. He's... Uh, there's a bit of magic in their boots, isn't there, Johnny yeah, it is. Rowe? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing what a goal could do for you. Wallace on the right-hand side, low cross in. Oh, Vyman skies it. That's almost as good an opening as West Brom have had in this second half.
Fernandez has stolen it. Here he is, left wing into the penalty, trying to set up Gabriel Sara, who was knocked off balance as he took the shot, and wide it goes. It was just a little bit under hit from Fernandez. Sara had to try and get beyond Chalabar and hit the ball all in one move, and he couldn't quite pull it off.